Today, I would like to do a comparison of Syllabi AI versus InVideo AI. And what I'm gonna do is just jump into both these tools and kind of break down the differences that I have found. So I run a small media company and I average millions of views every single month and being on top of this video AI generation stuff is key to my job. So one of the big differences that I found in Syllabi versus InVideo is long form video generation. So first of all, Syllabi is more or less known for more of like like this faceless video reels essentially and here are some of the examples they kind of show you like if you click play here this is essentially what they look like and if I were to break this down it's essentially just making like five still shot images adding a script to it and then it's adding little effects like zoom ins per each still shot image if that makes sense I feel like it's a tiny bit misleading to call these actual videos because these are actually just still shots in a video format let's watch this see this it's just images so it, I mean you could kind of go into chat GPT and batch create images and then just kind of do the same thing and add it to a video editor and when I had syllabi AI make me a long form video it kind of did the same exact thing so what it does you put a script into the tool and then you have it create a long form video but as you can see these are just images so to call it a video generator is a bit misleading but what you can do is actually edit the videos and you can actually add motion to some of the still shots like if I click on edit right here you can add motion and it's 10 credits it is a little bit expensive but it does work and what's kind of weird is when you add motion with syllabi AI it's like really subtle motion like it's not like big big motions you know what I mean but then when it comes to in video AI I feel like for long form video in video AI is destroying syllabi like no offense but it makes like full out like videos so here's an example of one I created and what I did is I just put a a script of a content creator like in the lifestyle like in the day of a life video and this is what it looks like what's up everyone I swear if I had a dollar for every time someone asked me about my content creation process okay so I'm gonna mute it just because the AI voices and like the mouth movement and stuff it, we're just not there yet and it just feels tacky so if you're looking to use this video with like humans holding things or having like saying things with their mouths the AI voiceovers just kind of suck if we're being completely honest but the whole video generation side of it is absolutely ridiculous and I find it to be a lot better than syllabi AI when it comes to that but watch something like this see like this score right here she goes to grab something with her hand but watch it becomes really weird when they have to hold things see that it's just like and you'll notice little quirks like that and my advice to you like here's another quirk she has three hands it just feels a little bit weird so what I have to do is I have to spend a lot of time going through all this content and essentially deciphering which is like what pieces of content are too crappy and then I have to remove them and I have to put it into a video editor so if you're thinking of like using this to just create run-of-the-mill videos that are ready to be uploaded you're wrong because we're just not there yet but that also being said this is great b-roll for a lot of my videos. I have a YouTube channel on content creation, or I should say a brand. And what we're doing is we're using this as B-roll because it saves me a lot of time in having to go generate B-roll for my videos. Like this is excellent right here. And I would say probably about 50% of the footage is usable as far as like being super realistic. Like something like this is questionable. And you have to ask yourself, do you want your audience to know that you're using AI? And I typically don't want them to know because I feel like it's a bit of a turnoff in some states states of video or niches but the videos are decent but like this right here this is backwards like it has that on the front of the phone the phone's the phone lens is cracked it just feels a little bit weird but in video AI as far as long-form content generation goes is way better than syllabi that being said I think if you're looking to make like short form vertical reels I think syllabi is a better option so if we go back to syllabi AI over here and we click on create a video what's really cool is they make this super seamless and it almost works better better than in video. You can choose your theme. You can choose essentially everything. You can add captions. You can not add captions. You can just choose any type of script you want. Here's a script that I wrote for a motivational YouTube channel that I run. And this is what it created. It was just like a motivational script. It, what it does, it just adds images that kind of look captivating. I feel like they, they move a little bit slow as far as transition speed. What I do is throw it into a video editor and just speed it up a little bit and then add a human voiceover. And they're a lot better that way. So 
in comparison, the vertical reels for faceless videos, as far as AI generation, I think InVideo does essentially the same thing. Like I asked it to make me some vertical reels and it does pretty much the same thing. So one feature that InVideo AI has that's absolutely crazy is the text to image feature. And all you have to do is tell it what you want an image of and then it will create an image, right? But then what you do is you go around and turn it into the photo to clip feature. Like this right here is an image, right? And it created this image for me. I told it to make it in a vertical aspect because I want it to be a vertical real video. And then I just do the photo to clip feature and this is what the video looks like. And you can choose if you want the clip to be five seconds long or 10 seconds long, but check this out. It's actual real footage of the actual image that you gave it. So we all need to pause here because this is the game changer right here. This could probably be better than the, the video generator at all because what you could do is just create cool images and then create clips based on them. And you can real, you can use anything, real humans, real people, anything. I created this, this video for a TikTok video and it did really well. It's just sort of weird. It's like a woman working on a shark mouth and it's like WTF, what is going on here? So I do think this feature in itself is a huge game changer. Here's another one right here. It just takes a second to load, click play. This is the same video of a woman working inside the mouth of a shark. I mean, you can create whatever videos you want. Like it, it, it just kind of blows you away. Here's a friend of mine and I sent him this video as like a joke. This is a, or no, let's do this one right here. I sent this to like a, a coworker buddy of mine and it turned an image into this. It's crazy. Like you have to check it out. So again, guys, that's my honest feedback in the syllabi AI versus in video AI comparison of what these tools do differently. So I would say, and again, check out these tools using my affiliate links in the description to get free trials. But the vertical reels is better, I think, with syllabi AI, but the content creation as far as like AI goes, like creating different crazy cool videos, in video AI is a lot better. Syllabi just kind of leans on making like still shot images and adds just very little motion to the images. But yeah, hit me up in the comments if you have any further questions. I'm just a media nerd content creation guy that just loves this stuff. So yeah, consider subscribing. Links and guides will be in the description. I'll see you guys in the next one.